What's up everybody? This is Adrian with Inspired to Be Media and I'm here to talk about slider foods. I'm here to talk about dehydration and just not living healthy after R&Y gastric bypass. So let's go. All right, first thing up. I've been living off of saltine crackers. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, saltine crackers and crunchy foods are so comforting to my stomach. And um, as I research more in the weight loss surgery forums um, on Facebook, I found out that these crunchy foods are considered slight. Oh. These crunchy foods are considered slider foods. So what is essentially happening is it passes through very easily, but you're left with all those carbs and high calories and sugars and things, and it's not good for you. So um, I, I know that saltine crackers have always eased my stomach in the past, and that was the reason that I went to it. Not so much to go back to a bad habit, because if I wanted to go back to a bad habit, it would be like a cheesesteak or something good, a pizza. But this was just simply to try to ease my upset stomach. But the reality of it is, is it's like I always have stomach issues. It's like, I don't know if this is for life or what, but a month out, I just always feel, my stomach always feels tight and it's just a process that you gotta go through and I'm not always crazy about it. So, um, I tend to not want to eat or drink because I don't want to feel that uncomfortable feeling in my stomach. And so that created dehydration. And that is the reason that I was feeling nauseous and sick, um, you know, that whole first month out of surgery. And a lot of people were telling me it's not natural to be feeling nauseous and sick every day. So thank you for giving me that heads up that it wasn't normal and I did find out that I was extremely dehydrated and I started getting my fluids in and I started forcing myself to eat, but the desire to eat is just not there. It's like um, a kid that touches a hot stove and when they burn themselves, they no longer want to go to that stove. Well, every time I try to eat, I would throw up. So I kind of no longer have that desire to want to eat or drink. When I drink, it feels tight in my stomach. Um, I gotta keep burping. It's, you know, you gotta drink very, very slow. It's just a chore more than anything. It's not enjoyable to just drink a nice ice cold glass of water and just drink it normal. You can't. Nothing you do is normal anymore. So um, just to let you know, this is not an easy way to do things. I keep saying that. Um, I did this because um, I wanted to break my food addiction. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to get healthy. I wanted to get rid of diabetes and high blood pressure, high cholesterol, fatty liver, um, a list of other ailments that I had going on. And I was unable to work out due to a back injury and leg injury, blah, blah, blah. This was a choice that I chose, and so now I have to stick with it. And so I've chose to try to get a better attitude about eating. It's not easy, because I really don't give a damn. I really don't want to try and eat. I just don't even feel the desire. But I know to be healthy, I have to do it. So what am I doing? Uh, I am eating eggs in the morning cheese omelet i'm eating pureed chili sometimes not pureed uh and i try to have that and i also try to have um yogurt uh i have apple juice water lots of water and i'm not able to get in any proteins i have all these protein isolate and whey protein and every type of protein you can think of, but it just does not work for me. Protein bars, protein juice, protein shake. I just can't stomach it right now. Um, so I'll work on that, but for now, I um, tend to try to drink these. They do have some protein in them. Um, different ones, mostly the fruit ones. 
uh, I like watermelon and uh, salad, cucumber. I love Greek salad. I have a friend who's Greek and she makes me authentic Greek salad with the feta cheese and the olives and it's so, so good. So I do like that. I don't like any sugar-free stuff. I don't like any um, stuff that is, what do you call it? Um, processed like meats and stuff, lunch meats and I just, it tastes really, really nasty. Um, I've been eating on this salad, this Greek salad for hours now. It's it's bad, but um, the olives are so good. Mm. Little pit. I do love the olives. They're so good. But overall, everything is such a chore to eat that I don't really like to cook. So I would stick to like salads and fruits and quick things like that that I can just eat. Um, and trying to stay the hell away from salty and crackers because for me, that was such a quick thing. I was like, two, three days it's been that I've just been like, oh, I could just live off of salty and crackers. I have to stay away from slider foods. It's not good. Not good at all. But see, even that, just me chewing this olive and swallowing a little tiny bit, I'm already hiccuping from one olive. So it's that real. People think it's a joke. I'm chewing this one olive like forever. It's not the easy way. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with me. I promise to start putting the video on and just recording. I don't care how I look. This is just me. And I'm going to be honest about what's going on it take me an hour to chew one damn olive um <laughs> and i really a lot of times i don't want to eat I'm just be honest i don't want to drink but i force myself to drink because i don't want to get dehydrated and i force myself to try to uh you know i take my vitamins now but i wasn't this whole month um I do notice a lot of hair shedding, but my hair is so thick, I don't even, can't even tell, but it's a lot. But being that I'm natural, it really don't show. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I'm just updating y'all. Uh, so for me, I'm, I'm glad I'm out of the dehydration because I no longer feel nauseous. Um, and I don't have that nasty taste in my mouth where everything tastes nasty. So I am able to start trying different foods. Um, haven't tried fish, tried chicken, didn't like it, hated it. Um, so yeah, chicken is just too heavy in my stomach, but I do like ground turkey. Ground turkey just is so calm in my stomach. No problems, no issues. Um, you know, so, and, um, Wendy's chili, I can eat that. Um, my Greek salad, fruits, apple juice. I freeze my apple juice and make, um, apple juice ice pops. That's really good. Um, water is a challenge. Dasani is like the only water that goes down smooth. I don't know why that is. I heard that some waters have too many minerals and they upset the stomach. But for me, it's not good. Still chewing. Finally, swallowing that olive, that one olive. Just to give you a clue of how long it takes to get food in and why I only eat like about two spoonfuls of food every time I eat anything but anyway that's that um, 
I did dump this morning. I tried eating a little bit of salad this morning. I had a tomato, it was so good, and I just swallowed a chunk of tomato because your mind is still thinking like you used to eat. You're like, whoa, this tomato's good, and you just chew it a couple times and you swallow it. As soon as I swallowed that chunk and it got right here, I was like, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I was like, oh no, no, and it was too late. I was like, well, maybe if I drink a little bit of water and walk around, it'll go down. No, it was stuck. We hear about people talking about um, stuck, food that gets stuck after weight loss surgery. If you swallow a, a chunk of food, it is gonna be stuck there and it's not gonna go nowhere. It's gonna feel like it's right here in your chest. And it's like the worst feeling ever. Like, it, it's like indigestion times the hundred and you end up having to just throw it up because just the feeling is not gonna go away um, and so that's what happened and I ended up just like laying down because then my incisions were strained from me throwing up and it's just a bitch to be honest it really is so I haven't been as active as I want to be because I just be in a bad mood like damn every time I eat something I get sick when I drink, try to drink my water, it hurts my stomach, and just I just be in a, a funk most of the day, to keep it honest. And people be calling, wanting to talk, and I just don't even feel like fucking talking. I feel like, I, can I call you back? Because I feel like shit, <laughs> and I don't feel like talking. And I hate to be like that, because I'm really a positive person, a happy-go-lucky person, and you know, just enjoying life, but uh, this thing definitely is making me feel like kind of pissy about never feeling great, you know? I feel good all day, don't get me wrong, no aches and pains or anything. I feel good until I eat or drink something and then I feel uncomfortable. So. I hate that I have to go out. Like I had a funeral to go to. I had family that was around. They all like, ah, oh, are you gonna be able to eat? Are you gonna just have to bite a little nibble of food? And I'm just like, and then people coming up to me, not consoling me about the loss of my granddad, but they can, they talking about, oh, I heard you lost 60 pounds, and how did you lose it? And oh, let's talk about weight loss stuff. And I don't want to talk about weight loss surgery or weight loss stuff. My granddad just died. Like. But that people don't get that. They just hear about weight loss surgery and you're like a fucking animal on display at a zoo. And they want to poke and pride you. And how much can you eat? Do you drink? Or, uh, you know, how much did you lose yet yeah, right now? And I, this was at a funeral. Like, no one said sorry, you know, sorry for your loss. They're just like, um... Oh, so I heard you had surgery, and no, oh, how much do you eat? And when I was sitting there eating, picking at this uh, Greek salad, they're like, oh, look at you, eating. And I'm just like, <sighs> I'm not, anybody that knows me know I'm not the type, I don't like attention, so I just want to kind of be in the background, chilling, I don't want the attention drawn to me. And trust me, it wasn't me that told every damn body that I had surgery. Uh, you know, all my family was just like letting everybody know that I had surgery. So, of course, everybody coming up to me and making comments. And I know they ain't mean nothing by it. Uh, they're just sharing information, I guess. But I really feel like now I'm on a damn, I'm, it's a spotlight on me. And I hate that. Um, but, you know, that's not to say I'm upset with my family or anything. I love my family. Um, I don't think they meant anything by it, but I just don't like the spotlight. It's no shade to anybody, but I don't want to be the center of attention. And a lot of times when I'm, I'm just out and about, I, I don't want to talk about that. I understand, like I do this channel because I want to inform people that this surgery is not something light. It's like a last resort, in my opinion. Uh, and I just want to give an honest view of how it is. You know, um, 